It's another week for our CBS 58 Hometowns Visits. Today, Nicole Coughlin heads to Greenfield. Joining us live right now is the mayor of Greenfield, Mike Knightsky. Thanks for being with us. Hey, thank you for inviting me. Definitely. So, Mike, tell us what makes Greenfield such a great community. Well, Greenfield is Wisconsin's 20th largest city and uh, Milwaukee County's third largest suburb. Uh, we are pretty much located near everything and everywhere. Um, we're mm -hmm. minutes away from everywhere. We're basically a city of highways, um, 894, 43, uh, most state and county highways go through Greenfield. So we have a lot of stuff here and Good. we're close and convenient. Right, very convenient, lots of great shopping. Are there any uh, <laughs> projects or upcoming events that you wanna tell us about? Well, the festival weekend starts, the church festival starts this weekend with Dan Jansen Fest at Conkle Park. Um, that's over Memorial Day weekend. That's on 51st and Layton. There's also going to be a car show at Kawiki Park, which is on Cold Spring and Highway 100 this weekend. I encourage you to go and check out the Alan Kawiki uh, memorabilia there. Um, we have our farmer's market that's already started. That's every Sunday from 10 to 2 at Conkle Park on 51st and Layton. We have Tuesday night concerts at our amphitheater, um, also at Conkle Park. There's just a ton of stuff to do. Uh, there's a ton of stuff to do in our adjacent communities too. Um, Greendale, Hills Corners, Oak Creek, Franklin. Um, the Rock is very close. Everything's close to Greenfield. And Mayor Nitsky, you tell us what's your favorite spot though? Any hidden gems you would suggest? I actually like going to Conkle Park a lot. Um, it's a 32 acre park, which is going to get even better this year. We're putting a, a large um, water feature in. Um, there's always something going on there. It's a it's a place where you can exercise some tranquility by just walking around. Um, but there's also excitement when we have our concerts there um, on Tuesdays and on weekends. Um, we have a great car show there on, on Sunday. That's my favorite thing to do. The Whitnow Parkway is close too. Um, and that's ju it's just huge um, for the folks that are on this side of town. It's a real treasure. Good, well, Mayor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We are excited for Nicole's trip to Greenfield. So thank you. And say hi to Tyler Hero for me. Uh, <laughs> will do. We will. The bucks are out. So. Definitely. Thanks All so right. much. Thank you. At Hometowns Tour, we head to Greenfield in Milwaukee County. CBS 58's Nicole Conklin is in Greenfield with a showcase of some of the cuisine the town has to offer. Hi, Nicole. We have this amazing find because even this morning people said if you come to Greenfield, you have to go to Takwa's. So here we are at Takwa's Bakery and Restaurant talking to Takwa herself. Thank you oh. for having us. Oh, thanks for coming. This is an amazing place. I just want to get because you brought out so much food. We have so much to share, but let's talk a little bit about this bread because people come from all over for this. Yes, yes. So what is this called? Um, it's our tabun bread. Okay. Um, we are the only one making it in Milwaukee or started in Milwaukee. Yeah. Um, I have noticed, uh, you know, Nobody makes it here, uh, or the, even if they make it, they make it like, you know, for themselves at home. Right. Um, so we wanted to spread uh, the tabula bread in Greenfield area. Yeah. So we decided to start making it, and uh, people, they just love it. And they love it, and it's in the wood fire, It's in a right? wood stone fire. That's how it's made. Yes. Okay. So and made it fresh for our customers. Fresh, and everything yes. is fresh, and everything, your mom's family recipes, you were saying, right? Yes, 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 yes. My mom, before she passed away, uh, she, I got a chance to spend uh, three months with her. Mm -hmm. Since we decided to make a restaurant, so she came. She taught me all her recipe came from all the way from Palestine. Yeah. So uh, she amazing. taught me how to make the bread, how to make the manakish. The grape leaf is very famous. Were, how dish. long does this take? You were saying it takes between like um, three to four hours wow. to make. Wow. Yes, and we, you can just eat it like a finger food. It's delicious, lemony. Yeah. Um, stuffed with rice. People come from all over the Midwest here, understand why, and you were saying how grateful you are to the Greenfield community because you opened I in am. the middle of a pandemic, right? Yes, I am. I can't, I can't ignore Greenfield support. Yeah. Um, uh, even, you know, Milwaukee or Wisconsin area because I started getting, you know, people from all over yeah. since we opened. Um, what makes it greater that people, they're not just supporting, actually they love the food and they keep coming back. They keep coming back. Yes. That's the best, the best that form is. of flattery. Yes. Well, thank you. You've been amazing. I'm so glad that it's successful for you so far. Thank you so much. Come stop by Takwa's Restaurant. It's on South 27th Street. You guys, this used to be a Burger King. You would be amazed if you come in here just to see the ambiance is worth the trip. We'll send it back to you. Today's CBS 58 hometown segment takes us to the city of Greenfield in Milwaukee County. Nicole Coughlin is there highlighting what makes that community a great place, and that includes Ann's Acres Neighborhood Greenhouse. Hi, Nicole. 
Hello. Yes, we are joined right now from Yusuf, one of the owners. Anne is your wife. Anne's right? my wife. Which is the Anne's Acres yes. part. But yep. uh, just brand new in Greenfield, right? When About did you open? Two and a half weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. And you're located right on? What's right this? on Forest Home, 87th and Forest Home. And you can't miss it. It's beautiful. There's brand new pergolas. A lot of people stopping by. Yeah, we've been crazy for the past two weeks. Yeah. It's been awesome. It's been good. Yeah. All right, so we're talking about, because it's the season, yes. holiday weekend coming up, and yep. I was just talking to you about, I have a hanging basket mm -hmm. that I fear every summer. So you're going <laughs> to you're gonna have to walk us through some yeah. of the basics, right? So a lot of hanging baskets will get wild and crazy. A lot yeah. of people like them symmetrical, but okay, so this one's getting a little crazy. Just take a scissor, and all you have to do is, you're not going to kill the plant. Are just, you sure? Yeah, just give it a little snip, okay. clean it up a little bit. And And you're voila. doing good. You're not killing no, it. No, you're not killing it. And okay. then everywhere that you cut it from, it's going to branch out and bush out and become a nice full round plant again for you. Okay. So mm. that'll grow back fast and healthier yes. to do that. Yes. Way. Okay. Just water, water, water and fertilize about every seven to 10 days and That's you should be okay. That's the key for hanging baskets. Yes. And I was talking to you about deadheading here. Yes. So because back in the day, my grandma used to tell me you had to take the whole right. thing off, but that's yeah. not it, even. I mean, you can if you want to, but you don't have to at the same time. The genetics have come so far that they'll just keep reblooming on their own. Just pluck them. But for aesthetics, you may want to take them off. Yeah, I love it. I think I'm going to get a second job here with you. Please. Just doing this. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> How has the community of Greenfield been uh, to you? They've been more than supportive. Yeah. It's been two weeks of people coming in. Thank goodness they're here. This is the best thing that's happened in Greenfield in a long time. The yeah. mayor has been supportive. The aldermen. It's great. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, so come visit Ann's Please. Acres yes. Neighborhood Greenhouse. Yosef, thanks for uh, no. in enlightening us. Thanks for having me. I'm going to go thanks home and start in. pruning. Yeah, we'll toss it back to you guys in the studio. Today we are in the 20th largest city in our state, third largest Milwaukee suburb, but whatever you do, make sure you get the name right. Welcome to Greenfield, not Greendale. Field. Field. Not Dale. Not Dale. Field. Green. Field. We are at Greenfield Fire Station 91, uh, located on Layton Avenue. So the city of Greenfield, their motto is Pledge to Progress. Our unofficial mission statement here at the fire department is doing the right things. So when you take those two together, Greenfield is a great place to work and to live. This is an archaeo modern archaeological find. This is the former turf skateboard park. All the great skaters from the day, the Tony Hawks of the world, that people probably recognize that name, but there are many others, came to this site. They pilgrimaged to this site to skate. Of all the things that have happened as mayor, there's been some doozies. This, the uncovering of this skateboard park, is probably the one that's had the farthest reach with people throughout the world. Welcome to Taco's Bakery and Restaurant. All the recipe came uh, from my mom's before she passed away. Uh, I got a chance to spend time with her, and then um, she teach me all of her secret recipe. There is no tabuna bread in uh, Milwaukee or Greenfield area. So uh, we decide to start making it. When we open, I was very impressive and thankful for our community, our Greenfield community. So Greenfield named in parts for the green fields that were in this area back in the 1800s, but time marches on. Greenfield is a city pledged to progress and continues to grow. For 58 hometowns, that's a wrap from Greenfield.